Amen. Amongst many other prophetic dimensions. Amen. She will be with us 
Uh, hallelujah. She will be with us from Friday. Amen. She arrives on Thursday evening. Hallelujah. We also have the glorious, my sister in Christ, uh, the lovely Putuma Tiso. Amen. A lovely minstrel. Hallelujah. Some of you know her. She will be with us to bless us with the ministration. We also have our local brother, Cindy. So he's actually international, but local to us here at Gen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we also have a lovely, a, 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 a lovely um, minister of worship as well. I've known her since maybe 2015. Mamo Tapo. Amen. Uh, she will be with us. Amen. Hallelujah. So it will be a glorious time. Why do we have three uh, uh, musicians, so to speak? If you if you attended our conferences last year, you know I don't like having too many ministers in song. It's just the, the word, the speakers. Amen. Why are there so many uh, worshipers, guest worshipers? It's because there's a certain sound I need them to release. Amen. Amen. The sound. Amen. Umsindo. Amen. Not just amakulo. Umsindo ongwele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's the dimension. We are here to say God has reigned. That's why even our promo videos uh, that I had asked that we uh, uh, participate in, no more promo videos, Bangwele, just for 30 seconds, a quick testimony of how he has reigned in your life for the past year. Because this is a conference to thank God that he has reigned over our life for one full year as a house, as Ken, and as Kubek, and will continue to reign over us. You understand this? Amen. So even with those videos, please participate. What has he, the past year, how has he reigned over your life? Amen. How has he reigned for 30 seconds? Amen. I even made a, a demo at the end to explain. Amen. We are doing that. And at the end, we are inviting people to the conference. And we'll be declaring Jesus reigns. Amen. And there will be a mighty sound in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So please make sure you come on time. Uh, I'll speak uh, on the details on Wednesday. But uh, Pastor T said we need hands. Bangwele. Amen. We need to be running around. There are errands to be done. Things to be bought. Amen. Uh, we need a hand. Just who say I avail my car will be driving up and down, running errands. Hallelujah. Amen. And if the Lord sows in your heart, uh, I mean, you want to get water. Just yesterday, uh, a brethren uh, said to me, Prof, I have water. Amen. I think six pack about ten, about eight. That's a lot of water. And they said it's in my heart. Uti, let me bring this water. It's for the conference, Bangwele. Amen. So if you say, you know what, I'll go to Ma Usepen and Uboni Pagetelo Suite, you know what, this suite will be for the pastors, I will bring it to church, amen. Those are the sort of things, amen, we also require, hallelujah, amen. Those are the things we also require. And of course, pledges, Bangwele, amen. Pastor uh, 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 Isaac said, if you think the church runs on finances, just stop giving, and see if God won't continue. Amen. I always say, if it's his will, it's his will. Unkulunkulu is more than able to fund Umsebenzi work, but he grants us the privilege to be able to plug in for our benefit. Hallelujah. So it's a privilege and an honor. That's why I said, Uzela sends a short song, is plagilila. Amen. Because whenever we bring envelopes like this, testimonies come. Amen. Testimonies come and people's lives are changed. Amen. So that's my lie. So and are sure. I'm just gonna leave these envelopes like this. And are sure before see harm there. You put in your prayer request. Amen. And then at the back you write how much the pledge you are trusting God to bring forward. Amen. As soon as you have it, please send it to the bank account. Why do we say write the amount here? Not because we want to read it. Well, I'm going to read all of these requests because I have to pray for you. Amen. But it's so that finance can pledge. What will happen is for everyone, I'll, I'll tell you the numbers when I'm in my private space. And I'll say to finance, finance, abangwele, I'm a pledge, I gave value 18,500. So I'm going to make expenses there, you know, 30,000, however it will be. It's 18,500. is like, really? So uh, 100,000, I'm a pledge, finance, abaluela. Amen. 
And then finance is able to plan around that bangwele. Amen. Of course, if you can bring that pledge uh, by the end of the conference, that would be great. Oh, but it's essentially for the conference. But if you say, you know what, prophets, I'll only have it on the 31st or the 1st of February or the 31st of January, please still bring it, Bangwele. Amen. It will, let's just start a corner, money allocated for something else, we'll have to replenish. But if I will pledge a thousand rand, for example, we're going to take from monies that were allocated for something else. So, and replenish, bring back that thousand. We understand this? Hallelujah. This is a pledge of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. We are starting our 21 day uh, fasting and prayer. Amen. Uh, we are starting on the 5th of February uh, to the 25th of February. Amen. Uh, Pastor Ntaga is so glad I heard you. If I see Pella just on your birthday. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we will be fasting for 21 days. Next week, so not this coming Sunday because we have a conference. That other Sunday, just before the fast, I'll be explaining clearly guides and steps how to fast. If you can't just go on a drive. Amen. You can't. Don't say you are trusting God. Please exercise wisdom. Even God is like, what do you mean? No, take your peace. You know? Uh, so you get to heaven and say, God, how did I die on a fast? And God says, I didn't say go on a hunger strike and take pills simultaneously. You were supposed to exercise wisdom. That's why I granted you the spirit of wisdom. Amen. So I will be explaining those dynamics. Amen. Uh, in my heart, we will be having a six to six. Amen. A six to six. I'll explain that. Sometimes, you know, saints, uh, we will have to do this together. Amen. So that we can be of one mind and one accord. He conducting sometimes abangwele so send five days, amen. At minukulukulute, I again the only three days. I'm telling you, between you and I, kono And usually it's not me. Usually, not always. So please, musukfuna. It's a spirit of rebellion. I have to be honest with you. Musukfuna tua. This is what we'll be doing as a house when we time minang kuzendelea. If two six to six, ya breakwa. I, I, I get it. You can say, I feel led to go to a break. And we are like a local, a long, a be led, and a long, and a general basisum. Over corny footprints, a Zamugienza. Wamoya. Amen. Yes, you are so strong. You can do it dry 21 days. That's powerful. Please do it in March. I call your drive. If sitting or six year breaker, please, amen, do it in general. But to make sure, go back, Melissa, be of one mind, one accord. Mele is an army, best tata one foot kanje, song as tata together. When we take the next stanza, unga konabanga move, konabanga pambili. That army is disorganized. Amen. So, but I will speak about it that other week, not this conference Sunday, but that other one for guidelines. Amen. To make sure we are safe, we are healthy, but we also render the relevant sacrifice before God. The theme of the fast is encounter Jesus. It is encounter Jesus. Amen. The fast is ordained by the heavens. Uruti, if you partake in it by day 21, you would have met him. You will encounter him. Amen. Amen. You will encounter him. Yeah, I know you believe him. It's okay. It's been 10 years. You believe in him. You love him. I'm saying you will encounter him. Amen. In a certain dimension you never have before, and your life will never be the same again. Umuntu muza ngumkulego wa ike, uguti lousege wa tangana na ye, umuzwa by their presentation, amen. Not by the anointing. The anointing, the anointing was still on Saul, although he had disobeyed God and he was disqualified by God. Unga pegu kogo, amen. Look for the relationship the person has, and umuzwa by discernment. And I'm saying, let's no longer continue preaching without him. Let's no longer continue worshiping. Let's not continue serving in any way. 
sisikhuleke but akekho we need to encounter him loyo na loyo azwele ungabona abantu around you bebekhuleka bayakhala mase uthe nami mhlamba ngizama ukha eh eh once you've encountered him you'll know what's happening oh sano heneli ha hale ha he kunayi kunayi Amen. You will encounter him. So let us prepare for that fast. In the next two weeks, uh, before the fast, uh, starting from Sasa, let us please start preparing. That means a Sisa. Amen. If you know you, you overeat, well, you should be overeating. Amen. Isaac, do not be overeating in general. Amen. But if you know just in preparation. Amen. So that your body doesn't have a shock of a lifetime when you start. Amen. Nami I like custard. Amen. Nami melen gitu wet angishu tu wange zelto beg. Mwa so kabane jim. Kotwa kala manju ngabi mningi. Kale, ya bon, ne kizet ba wakatu muntu njong ali jipleti kizeti ngeko no sip. Ibege kondensis. Start preparing. One day I'll tell you go to breakfast and ngandom zalwa nem sebenzin. Breakfast and a street wise too. But look at that. Those who know me know I don't eat breakfast. If I do, it's a small, small conflict. The way sometimes life is unfair. Uh, uh, breakfast and a street wise too. So um, street wise too, let's eat breakfast. I lunch again, gang sangen again. Amen. Hallelujah. So, yes, this is our Auzami alternative. As we prepare, Amen. So that you do not get shocked, Umzimba. Umzimbi nyama, I send you see you. You must join discipleship class. That's why you can be born again but feel lost. In discipleship class, I tell them, Muguti, you are not born again. That they say it's your spirit that's born again. Your soul is not saved, but it is been saved. And your flesh follows thereafter. That's why you lamba we fast. You lamba we fast, and you want to eat something. I get to see this here when you're there before. Eh, your flesh I see this here. It's funa ngembele wush. But it's funa wang embed, and you will feel hunger cramps. I used to have a a a a a a a a young obsession training, but someone kept saying, "Beshu mayela, ugu tu zui lamba we fast. Uzui akalo tu lamba le we fast." Yes. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. i so weak. i can eat something small. Vele, you will feel like that because this is a body. It, it literally needs food. But I'm saying the spirit, the one that is intertwined with your spirit, his name is Holy Spirit. He is in you. He's greater than the one tempting your flesh in the world. And then that, so lending a parati is able to sustain you. Umzim, we are born, we are nip, we are katala, a self pet when they can, the yes, it's real. Go a vele melanga buyasha, but we are going against the natural order of the worldly natural order and we are story restoring the natural order that was there before sin came in genesis hallelujah so that's a fast banquet amen so start preparing maybe conference years so chabula we conference yes continue eating i actually fast or start being moderate you can't have three desserts in a day come on amen I got to six slices. I want to form cool brandy. Four. Amen. Uloge we see saka ngane puntogo zo we see sa. Amen. Uze kshamza five February. Umzimba usu light usu tuaye level unga tuka cool niyazo bangwel. Amen. We are today. We are closing our series entitled "The Technology of a Vibrant and Successful Church." Amen. And we're looking at a vibrant and successful church. See, beggar from a perspective of our inheritance in the kingdom of God. Amen. 
why do you do this? I'll teach you so that you can also maybe. Amen. So they, they, were, so, they were so profound. It's tools, it's all Peter. Amen. Literally, Paul uh, was uh, teaching the word and praying for people. Uh, and he wiped himself with the handkerchief and continued. They took the handkerchief. They laid it. That's the inheritance. Amen. And if you study, it's going to say, one of apostolic pen of a benzanji. Abang well, a benzanji. Mushus be conning an egula urgently. I'm doing for Nelamina. No woman, Kumat. Hallelujah. Anyone here? Here's one door quickly. Amen. They were, uh, 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 they were almost uh, 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 an SOS. Back in the day, they wouldn't run to call an ambulance. They would run to call a member of the church. Who'd solve it? But the word church means ecclesia, which means a parliament, a council. So even if a matter of they would not go to the legislature. They would not go to judges. They are unbelievers. But they are saying, you guys have such wisdom. Please, here's this problem. Me and my wife, is, it's not good. Something bad has happened. Please, we come before the church. Solve it for us. And he and I were able to solve it. Even before Figo Peter Peace, Apostle. Ooh. Today, in Shulil, as we're driving here, I was talking throughout the car with my brother. There came a moment in time, though, where the Lord came mightily in the car, and I stopped speaking. Young and he was saying, Kanye, you will be that church, Roman, you'll be that church that will realize that full inheritance. Not just us as Ken, this generation of the body of Christ. We will be that, we will be problem solvers. M7 Zinbengning Kinga, they need to know there's one who belongs to a church, so we must go to them. Goba Bong had this supernatural wisdom. It's called the keys of the kingdom. Rona has said, they knew when to pray for a problem, they knew when to counsel for a problem, they knew when to ignore a problem. In King Ayako, you pray about everything sometimes. Sometimes, no shaparata umpatega mamota borapa at yegura pata wen umeliopolis. Givali by peline prayer altayami, get mamota bonga polis. Ilunginda. Those are the keys of the kingdom. Iba and a little vibrant, afunugla kanga to moyoing way. I don't know about you, but me, I'm expectant. I'm expectant and I'm privileged and honored. Utunkulungula trust with what he had trusted the earlier, the first church with. Mele ma, gishumayela la, kube koningo me kubuga kwe na before uzusho, vele ngit matati mai. Unga nguzu uti ngente ni prophet. Already la len get ni guti hallelujah, hallelujah. Utu sa ushane, utu sa shonjalo kate kwilcha sugum. First Corinthians chapter 14, one at a time. Masabantu Batai, Ilimi Zimbi, Upolwa Kayas in Dab. The church was so vibrant. Uting Gatting Shumayela, Kumi word of knowledge. Avela Sugumi, Atu Jehovah, Uti Kono Kula, you lie swini. Get Kamal Gaches, I pile, I pile, Leon to win a pila. Kaisus is la patam healed. So Paul was cut a bit. Wait for low pampili as who's contest of Wednesday quickly. Kubuyeno Nikela Gwen and now again enter his will. Yisho Iban Talon Kebab. I am a prophet in a apostolic pen. Amen. So we then look at the scroll. Who's Yena Babayenta? Who's a Bapilagan Jalu? Who's a Nazi Zamogenta? And we tap into Acts chapter 2, verse 41. See, I value the series in the Then those who gladly received his word 
were baptized and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. So 3,000 people at a time. Who counted them? Within the church, they received a word of knowledge from God. There are 3,000 exactly. They were so powerful in my care in the air, by the inspiration of the spirits. That's how powerful they were. Even neighboring cities and towns. Without so this is what they did, verse 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrines. We went through this, amen, and to fellowship. And that kononia doesn't mean that kononia is accountability. Kononia was ma utuzong chalinda, but she's so hot, so hot. And Angisho just mentioning another saint. How do you know something is gossip and not just a discussion? You know it's gossip because if the person is here, you'd be even ashamed to say it at all. That's how you know. If I say, for example, to my mother, hey, Tobega, ma, and that is in those of Lunga, like what in Kinga, and I got Kulegi, I said, and I said, Kulegi, that's not gossip. Why? Go by no me consobe and those two unen king, we ask, she can't break, I said, you won't break through. You see the difference? But um, and get it, oh, Tobega. It's gossip. You see, but what fellowship says is you hold each other accountable. You can't speak in or you don't have the guts to say accountability. That's, account that's what fellowship kononia. Amen. Today we look at the last two. And then I sit down. I now have 25 minutes. And but let me say let's fund this way. Okay? And fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Amen. If you continue con and fear, but if fear we covered it, I believe last week. So today we are covering these two, the breaking of bread and prayers. What does it mean? Big Tiwa and they continue steadfastly in the breaking of bread and in prayer. And if we could understand that scroll as a church, we we'll start ascending and transitioning to operate like these guys operated. Amen. Maybe, maybe that's why the Lord said today is a day of ordination. Amen. It shouldn't be konokulayo. Eh, quickly, Zamanu prophet, prophet We are part time and I. I should smell like Linda Boy. Anyone. The best thing you and Conzo and Bafis and Champ and Angus Neo Yaklin. They wouldn't say, Oh, Pumpu, this work, please, and a cooler Lelingan. But then fix a shiny loose name, but it's nurses, Angus or Webans, I went, yes, and Gilon, nine Gani Gul. Solum to look up Positta willing and you immediately. That's how they operated. I know your religious mind doesn't want to accept that. In the earlier church, they were all mighty. The apostolic king was just a greater grace. Amen. But it can't be Uma Ese Batru Mupita Abanda Bakuleged. Amen. So we are being ordained with power. I keep saying this after the 21 day fast. I feel as though many people will be able to even function as I function in terms of power. Amen. I really feel it. I feel it. Because Amen. So literally, they devoted themselves to the breaking of bread and prayers. Amen. Let's start with breaking of bread. That's a tool in the spirit. 
better than the one. Why breaking bread? Because it creates community. They would eat, they would share meals together. So from today onwards, at the end of every month, every communion Sunday or the Sunday before, we need to break bread together. Seed. No, Angi, she said, this seed is very good. They did that as well. Like about sharing meals, literal meals. They would eat together. And you may be sitting there saying, Angi, understand the value of Uda. Tinasazu, what is it? Yeah, fast, we burned it. Yeah, fast, wa. Yeah, see, look, who's the ten man from Pondis? Babet and the one. Because I'm not one and some Pondis. God, I was like, I am on the edge. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. I see, I'm on, I'm on the edge with these things. I am trying to break religion. And it's going to leave you in the name of Jesus. The religion is what we are We are now doing it God's way, the Bible's way. Amen. They would sit together. They would share meals. It, it, it so happened to uh, They would decide perhaps, I, I don't want to call it a feeding scheme. Maybe this side of church, this week, we have lunch. Because every lunch, we have lunch. And we have lunch. We responsible. So long, lunch time, the servants are going to say, Yeka, Jenaba, Connell, religion, and Yazid. Yaga was a Nitio Neo collect a Slangan, a Ninens of host, a seat in the Oni. Net Dinam Sampinin in charge of it dinner. Maybe that week we take a break, we are with our family, spin the school your foot. Beck Slangana asks you when a Peluze, the family are going. That's what they did. And I'm saying we will start with monthly breakings of bread. Let me give you the spiritual benefits. Amen. Go to Luke 24, verse 8, so you can understand the spiritual benefits of sharing meals. Because this isn't about just laughing and enjoying yourself as you eat. Uh -uh. You need to know the spiritual. Now, I'm about to share a mystery. So hear me very carefully. Luke 24, verse 30. Let's see, by Luke 24, I'll narrate the whole, the summary of the chapter or the relevant piece in the school Mangayo so that you don't have to, to, we don't have to read the whole chapter. Who Jesus here had arisen on the third day, amen, and it's within these 40 days, a little Bible, after he rose, you know he didn't go straight to heaven, right? You know, little Bible, we shall when you get Jerusalem for 40 days before he ascended. We know that. Amen. So, in one of those days, uh, there were two disciples. They were walking from Jerusalem to a city called or a town called Imas. Okay? They were walking Bekuluma about everything that happened. Bekuluma, I Jesu, Mut Hey. Let's Bible Jesus joins them as they are walking to Imas. Okay? Let's he joins them, they are walking. Uh, Jesus starts speaking to them. Let's Bible. Jesus has had called, uh, the Lord had called their eyes to be shut. Bang and not recognize we are in. Amen. Bahamba na ye gota ababon ugutu ye nu Jesu lo. Bahamba bas bakotelen i u Jesu wo Jesu. Bas Jesu ya zut be konin do te tu Jesu. Ega ti pilisa ba anjo ga te yesha ye nyuga doing signs, wonders and miracles. Me siti yo the Lord and Lord, the King of Kings, but they have killed him so easily. Nsam aksi ye na yabon. So they did not recognize him. Let it by bell. Oh, Malama to the Sefige Emasi. Where they are going, they say to Jesus, Please come in and eat with us. Please come and break bread with us. Amen. Now, Sitatala Poge, where they were walking with Jesus, but two, they did not know him. They did not realize, they did not recognize him. Many believers in the church, I have to be honest with you. So then they invite him, they say, hey, It's late, please. Gena nati Jesu, eh, uze nati, amen. Abambiz mojes koza bagazu yen. Now listen to what happens when they break bread. Now it came to pass as he, the he, there is capital, so kunye ngoban. 
Go Jesu. Now it came to pass, as Jesus sat at the table with them, that he took bread, he blessed and broke it and gave it to them. First of all, Jesus, a visitor, etiquette and manners, I can't invite you to my house. But anyways, Jesus said, meaning so pack. Okay? He took the bread, he blessed it. So we no not going to go to Listen to what happens when they share a meal with him. Then their eyes were opened and they knew him and he vanished from their sight. When they started sharing a meal together, their eyes were opened and they knew Jesus. The benefit of eating together with someone is that your spiritual eyes are able to see and know him. You will not know that snare is not okay until you sit and eat with her. Then there is something that eating together does. It opens the eyes. Little by belly, as they were eating with him, their eyes opened and they knew him. You can't know Prince, your brother, intimately until you sit and share a meal with him. Abanyabanguele <laughs> are. I, I, I'm sorry to use little gamma, are, are, are less fortunate or impoverished, so to speak. But we are they are scared to tell you. But once you sit and eat together, they don't need to say it. Something happens to your eyes in the spirit, and you can just see. That's why when two people want to bond, they bond over what? A meal. Because a meal assists you to know the other person. That's why you just be born and never find the back. Why is that? And I'm about Cause when you are eating, your eyes are open and you are able to see the other person. That's why Jesus sat and ate with sinners. He ate with sinners so that sinners' eyes can be open and they may know and have a revelation of who He is, and then they may come to Him. Be careful who you share your meals with. Some people today are in lifelong soul ties that it's hard to break because they were sharing meals. But he dating. When you share meals, the eyes are open and you know the other person. That's why Eve, her sin was not that she ate a fruit. Her sin was that she shared a meal with the enemy. Oh my God. Some people today are living in realities of a shared meal with the wrong person. Ask Eve. Although he's, he's not born again, this boy, Gwando, he's not born again. You, you still have the ability to say, hey, hey, you are not born again and you don't love Jesus, so I won't, I won't date you, I won't get to know you. But once you sit and eat with him, your heart turns towards him. Eating a meal opens up your heart to the next person. The reason they sat and ate together is so that their heart may be open. That's why the Bible says they're of one heart and one accord. It's not just a saying as they ate. It is, oh, yeah, my zoo, mom, come on. Mom, come on, let's prophet, what's wrong? As I'm eating, I can feel you not okay. Who are eating has the ability. It has the ability to connect you. That's why when Eve partook in that forbidden fruit and Adam partook in that fruit, she, had, she and Adam had communion with sin. Go to Genesis 3 from verse 1. The power of breaking bread. Go to verse 6. I want you to understand the correlation between the breaking of bread and the opening of eyes. So when the woman saw the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took off its fruit and ate. She also gave her husband Adam with her and he ate. Quebec. They are now sharing a meal. Listen to what happens when they shared a meal. Then, they are, uh, then the eyes of both of them were opened. When
when you are sharing a meal, eyes are opened in the spirit. That's why even that, that boy who wants to play with you, once he eats with you, he can know your weak point. There's a correlation with Uguja and the opening of eyes. Two, there's a correlation between Uguja and communion. How did Adam and her Adam, Eve, and fall into sin, they ate, they partook with the enemy. They shared a meal with the wrong guy. And as a result, what was in that enemy, Satan, which is full of sin, it was translated. So, it's possible. It comes and vice versa. They inherited the law of sin and death from the serpents they were sharing the food with. That's why it's God who you sit and talk to. That's why you are not a gossiper. Lord knows you are not. But when you are sharing a meal with the wrong person, you start. It's not you. you. You are not used to gossiping. You don't like talking badly about people. There's something with the wrong person. There's something. There's something. That's why if you're going to gossip, ma, usually, that's why, ma, have you ever noticed when you are eating, you become more open and you talk? It was made by God so that when you break bread with other saints, you can open up. But Satan has stolen it. So except he's selling his kingdom, who go to sell with the wrong people, we are like, I go to Kulumin Dabasabant. You think they are shy? Put a place of food. Let's find out. Let's put a streetwise soon, guys. I love you. I will beg you, please. You are a mighty, prayerful woman who, who does not gossip, who doesn't, who has no ill intent. You are powerful. Let's put food in front of you. Let's see. If you can withstand that power of Uza to speak out, to overshare, to commune, for eyes to be up, if you can withstand that, then I can believe you are mighty. Whenever you are sharing food, there is a release. That's why, sorry, after eating, you feel tired because you've just released. But many believers are releasing to the wrong people. In English, they call it itis. Itis is spiritual. It's a release. That's why after eating and food, you are tired and you rest. Because God had created the sharing of meals for you to release your burdens uh, to a co-brother who's able to share with you. And after that, you feel lighter and relaxed. But Satan has stolen it. The problem started when two guys, a, a woman and a, a, a man, two people, so to speak, decided to share a meal with the enemy. So breaking of bread it's a spiritual mystery. When brethren share a meal together, their eyes are open and you are able to see in King Azami and you are able to pray for me effectively. When we share bread, even though I had a burden and I was scared to talk about it, I find myself speaking about me. I could not afford rent. I don't know where to. I start opening up things I would not say ordinary. When people share a meal. When we share a meal, eyes are open in the spirit. People will become prophets during eating lasagna. That's why when you are gossiping during a meal, Usatana keeps bringing revelation of the person you are gossiping about. God would give revelation to the brethren. Satan will also give you revelation. You become a prophet of doom over a meal. Meals open eyes. 
Sikatu kutu danobani. Na some seven zini God knows I eat in my office. Wa manje a angfunlel badi. Logo tingil solengil danabantu. And before you know it, my weak points are released to them. And they are able to go into Kosha Galanam, go back to Bengoni, go to Ilo. It's a mouth thinking. Oh, Munya, you complain about Kulo. Okay, you are complaining. Okay. Lo ne wariga Kulo, wari wariga Kulo. Lo ake kohe page un. Agi wa no muno bani. Ladies and gents, to the ones of us, stand up and let's do it dating. Agi wa no muno bani. Even Adam contaminated sin from sharing a meal with the enemy. Okay. They call it soul ties. And you think a soul tie is when you are intimate with someone. No. A soul tie is when your soul is intertwined with someone else. A soul tie is actually God. God wanted soul ties to be there. That's why in the Bible, Jonathan loved David. To a point where their souls were knitted together. The only time the Bible specifically speaks about soul ties is in that scripture in a positive sense. Beliti batandana, they were fellow brothers in the Lord. Batandana until this soul ya mamo tapo ni amya shangan. But Satan has stolen that. Wa shangan isu mpef mulo wako with the wrong guy and the wrong girl. By sharing a meal. Little by belly, they continued steadfastly in breaking bread together. Do you know why we'll tell you somebody is unwell, they're in hospital, and you have not even prayed for them, even today you didn't pray for them. It's not that you are wicked, you are not wicked, you are a good person. The problem is you've never broken bread. So what she's feeling, you don't feel. If I want to get to know you well, I invite you to my house, you sit in a blue chair, we put biscuits and juice, and I say, tell me about you. And I'll be able to read you like a novel. Over just that shell of biscuits and the juice. You'll be, you, I'll see more than you are saying. It's a secret. It's not that you are such a prophet, it's just the technique of the spiritual reality of sharing. So you are able to sympathize with Umuntu. Uh, our lovely Pastor B, I had written in the group that she's a bit unwell. You, you'll find that even today you didn't pray. Now yesterday, even when you saw the announcement, to be honest, you didn't pray for her. It's not that you are evil. You are a good person, but you've never shared a meal with her. So what she's feeling, you're not feeling. We're in hospital practically the, the day before, the other day, even yesterday. Do you know why we were there? I've shared a meal with my child for a long time. So what she's feeling, I feel. When she's crying in hospital, I cry. Because we share a meal. Inga kumpulu mpulu ethe abantu abanguele kmele bate ndawonye. Gobe ni tandawonye ni mba nukzwe lana. Iskalo sama aga dingu kuti azazong chela. Gisizo sata ngite ema. Inga si jengne nkenga ganje kaya. Asi yes funjalo mtana mgitu no ma. Bespe de las kuleke. That's what breaking of bread was meant for. That's why between a man and a woman, it's really only people who are about to get married or who are married. God, it creates a bond and intimacy. That's why in the olden days, they and together. Some still do it, some don't, but separately. When you are sharing a meal together, it's like a clue. Your eyes are open to the realities of the other person. Her eyes are open to my reality. And when the Two realities come, they exchange, and I carry her burden, and she carries my burden, and we start loving each other. So when she loses her job, so when she is hungry and doesn't, literally the hunger pangs she has, now I start having, literally. It's not that you are bad. You just have never shared the meal. It's a mystery. It's a spiritual science. And they continued steadfastly in breaking bread together. Someone once said, Prof, I'm a pastor of this house. I want to love people the same way you love them. 
I said, good. Uzo melu sale nabo. Monke one by one. Uze nabo. You don't need to force yourself to love them. Just by that sharing, that communion, ukunukulu ya batata babegela. Na waksu, sakbega nchizuen zabo. That's why last year, there was a, a bad spirit of division in this house. To a point where certain people went around Maba Kulumizin, that's slow. Like a hashtag. That's slow. Lies just created. But no, it can't be Kutaka Shati. Conte Cont. Munyatai Okaltik. Basho Yong get up slowly. Milan Gaz, Utungulungam Funa for over a decade. Gaz was not pushing off and fell a little vangel. Masu Moon does in this way last year at I long and born Okaltik. Hobab Shong. But do you know how we were able to grab a hold of Law Moya? Because I had communed and shared meals with some saints. So they came to me and said, Ma, Bekala, I'm sorry, but this is happening. If I had not been sharing meals with those people, they were not going to come and tell me. The reason they came and told me is because they have my heart. And long she's young, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go If you want loyalty from people, share a meal with them. If you are here, Ushadil, you want a good marriage, share and make sure you eat. When you eat, you break bread, you, you pray over it. That's why we pray over food. That's why we don't just take food school. We are blessing it so that that loyal of breaking bread can also operate. If you want to have a strong family, you need to eat together. The power of breaking bread. A person who's never shared bread with you will never be loyal to you. So as a church, we will start breaking bread. Because there's a mystery in breaking bread. Two, prayer. I'm out of time. And they devoted themselves to prayer. Go to Acts uh, 240, what? 2. And they devoted themselves to prayer. In the breaking of bread, we've covered that. And in prayers. This was one of their secret weapons. But lokulega is not the normal prayer. The word used there for prayer there, Bab July is prose komai, prose komai, prose komai, p r o s e u c h o m a i, prose komai. That's the original text El Bali will appear. And what prosekumai means is not prayer. What it means, Katasle, is exchange. So in the book of Acts, whenever Tui Bandala Kuleka, the sort of prayer they make is a prayer called the prosekumai, which is exchange. Meaning they go to God to offer him something in exchange for something else. The prayers they would make, it would not be a prayer at a uh, it wasn't different prayers. They, they'd come in one mind, one accord with one prayer, and they would bargain with God. If they lived nowadays, Isaac, they would be forex traders. They would trade spiritual realities with God. They would trade the natural for the supernatural. That's prosecomai, the exchange. That's why when they prayed for Peter, little baby, and he was in prison, but the church was praying. That praying there is prosecomai, but the church was busy in deliberations of exchange. They were offering something to God, and God offered them the deliverance of Peter from prison. Let's do a case study. Go to Acts chapter 12.
and the church prayed, you must understand it was not a normal prayer. It was a business dealing with God, an exchange with God. I told you before there were an SOS. When there's a problem, you run to the, cha to the church, and the church will do exchanges and spiritual dealings with God on your behalf. Unfortunately, nowadays, it's not only the church that does the prosecumai, even the kingdom of darkness. That's, this is the sort of prayer they do. They offer a sacrifice. Umoya sponsors their wealth. It's an exchange. But that spiritual reality, it's even possible in the kingdom of darkness. They use it. That reality in our kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Where God had said, I sponsor you, you, you pray. That's why we give. We present the natural and we receive the supernatural. You give something, the spirit of, the, 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 the principle of conversion or curse, and you receive something, it's an exchange with God. Now, let's do a case study about Peter, and then we'll pray. Now, about that time, Herod, the king, stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Okay? Now, about that time, that time there is the word they use for season, no see, for it was a season for Herod to stretch out his hand and harass some people from the church. I know sometimes when things, bad things happen in the church, some say, what's going on? Are we not praying enough? You're praying more than enough. There's a season for Herod to stretch forth his hand. No matter how prayerful you are, one of the greatest apostles right now, he once released a video, in fact, not so long ago, a kuluma about how the church just split and almost everyone left. Wasala numka a few he gone. It was about that. There's always a season for Harold. Ongale ba hambelan. I shoot a kulego. Shoot a abant abapat wagashi. You've never started a church. You're a child. That's why you don't understand. It was a season. It was ordained that Harold must just stretch forth his hand and some must be harassed from the church. Usamukbakulisa. What happened? It was easy to be boastful when you are so powerful. Uguti even Fezera can raise a dead child. And they were so powerful that government would come to them for soon. They would be so boastful and prideful. So every now and then, it would be a season for her road to stretch forth. And just upset, upset. Even in your marriage, oh, her road can upset. Even at work, can you think you are the smartest accountant? Even at work, her road can just must stretch forth his hand. It's not that you don't pray enough. Those kids are on drugs because Herod. But there's a solution to that. So Herod stretched forth his hand to harass some from the church, Quebec. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Herod is even able to kill an apostle. I'm trying to show you because some people are in seasons of Herod. And you think there's something you've done wrong. You have not done anything wrong. It's a season. Well, manja, when you stand here and you minister and we're on our feet and say, so powerful, you'll go back home, you won't even pray. Because you think I'm so powerful. Mm -mm, you are a little baby, yo, held by the grace of God. Herod will stretch forth his hand over my life. This is cool, cool, I get it. Who must I apologize to? How long must the fast you want me? Even I. He just, shh. James died because of Herod. Okay, go back. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to further seize Peter. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. So Herod saw, I am just causing havoc and I'm unchallenged. So I'm causing havoc in your life, but you are not rising and ascending in stature and prayer. So I'm not rising and ascending in stature and prayer. 
Then the church woke up. Back. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him as Peter and delivered Peter to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. No, Peter was sent by the sword. James by the sword of Herod. So when they arrest Peter, Iban they stopping the spiritual wapela. I can imagine I was not there, but it's possible when this was happening, there were some in the church saying, mm -mm. Oh, James maybe had a girlfriend. No one can be harassed like this. Maybe he was not bringing his tithes. That's why James was, been a was able to be killed by the sword. Okay, so they were in a high and mighty drive because they flowed in miracles. This is more than what James did wrong. This is more than what Peter did wrong. There's something we need to do in response to this. Lady Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God. That's when the church woke up and said, no, it can't be. But constant prosecumai, the word prayer there is prosecumai, which means exchange. Constant exchanges were made. Constant dealings. This is not a prayer about July. You Umam July again, correct? As soon as then some cool again. In some places, these four say some cool again. Umam July again. As soon as I'm cool again, wake up. As soon as I'm cool again, wake up. These are a special type of prayer. They of one mind. That's why the Bible, Bel Kulum, about this church, it always reminds us that they of one mind and one accord. It means there was no room for deviation and 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 differences and disagreement. They will they would all agree. If we are here, I am not praying about my job, I'm not praying about my family, I'm not praying. I am here for Jesse. And oh, Master Zealous is so cool. Again, we are all in agreement. Then we'd make exchanges. Ulukulu Dingani, see, I'm Dingo Peter Pumile. You start bargaining with God. Ulukulu, if Herod cuts off the head of Peter as well, it means who Herod winile. Even the people who'd come to us for solutions will stop coming to us. Tina, we represent you. If it looks like we are failing, it means when Ulukulu are failing. So please, we are making an exchange. Who think and to need a fasting? Who was Peter Kulu? This is a faster. What do you need? Do you need a chain of pledges? Will bring it before you. There was an exchange. Satan has robbed this church, yeah, man, by saying, When you come to God, you you will not operate in the realities of this church, of the early church. Mobility constant exchanges were made. Ulungulu tingani. Utingutsiegi pride. We are prideful. Goba. We are flung in miracles. We have become prideful. Sense and jan. Ulungul. Siegi pride. Sense and jan. Siegi and jan. As Ulungulegi pride. Okay. 15 days. Is that okay? No, no. Two days. Okay. We'll fast and pray. Zamu kipu pit. That is a prayer of exchange. That's the one that supernaturally sends angels who keep up Petro, who Peter, in prison. If you continue with this passage of scripture, let the Bible as they prayed, who Peter, an angel went to Peter and it freed him from prison. Do you see that they offered something up, but something also came down instantly? That is the type, that's the prosecumai. That's the type of prayer that they would do. Instant results. 
that has been kidnapped, their first response is not run, call 9 Their first response is let them do dealings for you, let them do exchanges for you. And they would say, Baba, na ingane, ingane na six is it unjiwe, send them John, who is away now, who stretch forth your hand, you go ingane, this is what I need. His parents have been diabolical, they must repent. Quickly, kneel now here. Repent your sins. They repent. They ask, Ulukulu Tinkani, Rapata, Lapata, Kulu, Lenkane, Ukulukula to know. I need them to follow me wholeheartedly. Are you ready to receive Jesus? Yes. Okay, Kulukulu Tinkan, Peganem Yang, Nayangan again. That's the type of prayer they made. No Mubano and Kingama. Why in their gathering? Let two king. Uparamis, Two okay. Song in one mind, one accord, Kulegela Lok. Musa now pinches say I could nea, Mikulukulea, Minganen, Katata, Sikulekelea, Mamkuman, Jangaman. Song eh. And as we offered prayers, the answer would come. See, burning gun is again. It's in gum kill. It's in That's the type of prayer. Has somebody just died? We don't call Augsburg faith. We don't call it his faith. We call the church. Because there were people of immediate results. There were people of exchanges. God, this person has died, meaning the spirit has left him. What must we do so the spirit returns to him? And in the prayers, God would speak, and they would therefore issue an answer. The church at that time was powerful. It was not just the, the clergy. No the fundis. Every the church together in unity. Do you know the church was responsible for ordaining people? In Acts 13, go to Acts 13. Do you know the great apostle Saul? Paul. Do you know the great apostle Paul? He was ordained. Wakish Reband. Now in the church that was in Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manen, who had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. Okay? This is the church in Antioch. As the church ministered to the Lord and fasting, doing spiritual exchanges, prosecumai, the Holy Spirit said, now separate to me Paul and Barnabas. The soul there is Paul for the work which I have called them. Lendo araichelu Paul ibatangazwang. In one mind, one accord, a great apostle Paul, who was at that time Saul, because they would all pray in unity. They would pray for one thing. Saul never volunteered himself. Then having fasted and prayed, this is the church in Antioch, they laid their hands on Saul and Barnabas and sent them away to ministry. This is how you live for ministry. This is the order. This is God's order. Umela uma minangbos kabutubega puma for ministry. Never and all this kasiya vuma. As we were praying in one mind, one accord. Mela pume. Sisi kuka si kulegele song. You can't decide when Usu was born. That's not God's order. The church did with big in spiritual exchanges. That's the sort of prayers we are going to start praying in this house, where we have a time in a service where we say, who has what problems? 
and we all pray for you and we all do spiritual dealings for you in the sense in the end, is that you come with your problem, you come with yours, you come with yours, you come, you come with yours, and you pray for you, you pray for you, you pray. And in ten Bangweli Bible, what when two touch and agree. There's power in corporate prayer. But not just prayer, what is Siam Kulagela Bandra? I got tolum sevens. Oh brother, take a eh. Kulungulugoza out tolu tingan. Okay, did anybody receive a word pertaining to put a paramisuma, a paramisus, a paramisus, a paramisu put? And if we have prayed right, conke ya fan, says put tike, so will more in wait. Put it fast for 40 days, Baba. On the 40th day, they'll call you soon. Sevens. Let's please stand on our feet. individual success Bab July was premised on their corporate success. Nowadays, what we do, what we want to be successful individually, and we are hoping our individual successes will come together. It starts from the church. The church is not just a good idea. The church is a God idea. What, whatever you require, you will find it in the institution, the parliament called church. And from church, you will receive it, or that will make you successful out there. But our saints, unfortunately, we don't understand the oneness. In pray for it at home. When we are here, we are here to pray corporately. If calling in a yomunda agent, as we are all praying in each and every person's heart, so one mummy, a mummy, and she's a nutia kulek, kuleli, but the velumami, but hoi agent, ukunkunkuna send them exchanges for her. And immediately she receives a solution. That's what the church was for. Not a bunch of people who profess faith in Jesus coming together to pray selfishly. When you meet a believer that knows who is there, only they must keep receiving. They never give. That person has not met Jesus. Because when you meet Jesus, you understand the power of sacrifice. It's not about you. Church is not about you. Even your own life is not about you. It's not about Kanye. Lom Zimbo can be saved again. I I I I I want to go to the gym to look good. Don't I'll never go to the gym to look good. I'll go to the gym so that I am healthy to run the errand for God. Even you yourself, it's not about Ubab Julai or Ubab Julai. It's about him. It's a life of sacrifice, spiritual exchanges, dealings. Each time we meet, we are offering spiritual dealings to God. Quickly go to the church. All right. The Lord said he's going to be ordaining some people today, as you heard. Let's just take time. I want you one about breaking of bread. Ask the Lord to help you. Lord, who must I stop breaking bread with? How do you know the person you are breaking bread with is not right? When you are together, you stop tapping into a side of you, you know it's ungodly. Lord, who must I stop breaking bread with? Then ask, Lord, who should I? break bread with. Some will see faces. Out think a man who's young keep hella go nandos. In me's and jazz a walk. Who's on the little ice yak? Who's on the little shepherd sack? Bow zoom pagel and I. Who's a mummy? Gunukutas, yes, and I see. There'll be such a bond. Be cool again, isn't those a cause of Bow cool again, beggies and isn't those a cause of Kakoyas. 
it will start by breaking the bread. Muzu ngunungundi. Who should? Yisho lain konzuel. Aga muzu kvezelu apostol Joshua Selman ngunungundi. Uzu zomta tapu zutle nai. Babon apostol Joshua, let me tell you, it's your meditations of your heart. It's fiso saako ayugu tu ngunungundi. Amen. Yes, in Genza, I want to tell you, Mr. Velen, so Mr. Somhota, like I. You should mind who is God saying break bread with, and who is God saying detach from breaking bread with this person. Pray, ask the Lord. If the shoes are painful, take them off, because we are doing spiritual dealings. Lord, who should I detach from? Who must I stop breaking bread with? The Lord will show you a face even now. Are there ushers in the house? Lord, who must I stop breaking bread with? Maybe it's that other teacher in the staff room. Wasala na luya, so who should go keep on going? Maybe it's that boy. Maybe it's that girl. She can pay the bill. She can pay the bill. Let's go, Ben. Let's minister. Yeah. Hey.
if you suspect you have a soul tie, put up your hand where you are. I mean a bad soul tie. You want to de- you want to detach from this person, but they keep coming to your mind. In Jesus' name. I detect you. I break it sometime. I break it. I break it in Jesus' name. I pray the Lord has showed you who you must stop breaking bread with and who you must start breaking bread with. I hope the Lord showed someone me for after the service. Then the Lord says, go break bread with the prof and touch us. Is there anyone the Lord touched in that fashion? Is it you, Jay? There are people you need to go sit down. You don't need to go to a restaurant. Mm -mm. Buy a Coke, make juice at home. Ask them to come drink juice together. Put biscuits. You have only two slices of bread. Put in whatever is in that two slices. Cut it. Have one and have one. Start talking. Your marriage can be helped by that communion. Your work issues can be helped by that situation. Your financial issues can be helped. When I'm next to you, I speak I'm serious. There's a certain dimension of your destiny you can't unlock. As I said, don't eat it in restaurants. If you have that kind of money, bless God. Or after church, say after church, your solution is not out there, it's in here. Then there are those you need to detach from. For so long as you share a meal with them, people's names come up. An attack against the church of God comes up. Problems come up. Stop. Partake it. Okay. We are out of time. But the Lord said he's ordaining people. So this is what we'll do. I'm done with the series. But for the sake of the kingdom of God. Uh, we'll have some ordinations. I keep repeating this to you. Mamota. It wasn't just the apostle that was powerful. All of them were powerful. Thank you. It's time for that power. I want to give a demonic manifestation in the seventh day. We have to use our power so you can buzz prophets. Who can want to do it? At home, somebody's sick. Who has a sick relative? Just come here. I'm going to shake your hand. I want you to receive the gifts of healings. So you can go lay your hands on them. They'll be okay. Don't allow Satan to show change you. He brought you here as a soldier. You are supposed to change the world. And it starts together here corporately. Mom, you are unwell. What's wrong? Bunyao. Okay, I can feel your pain. I can feel it. That's why I'm saying you are unwell. He can be sitting. 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 He can be
chapter 12, we're going to start from verse 1. This is the chapter concerning spiritual gifts. And the cool young spiritual gift you would desire. You will put up your hand where you are and the Lord will help you. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brother, brethren, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols, however you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the spirit of God says Jesus is a curse and no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Therefore, now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. There are diversities of service, but the same Lord. And the varieties of activities, but the same God. I want you to understand. Amen. If you read there, uh, start from verse 4. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit. The Holy Spirit gives gifts. Understand that? Back. Let's see what Jesus gives. There are different kinds of service or offices that a person who works in the service sector of the government, they're in office. So there are different kinds of services or offices, but the same Lord. Jesus gives the fivefold ministry, the offices. Okay, let's see what God the Father gives. There are different kinds of workings, but by the same uh, God works all of them in all men. That's the gifts of God the Father. Okay, today I'm led by the Spirit. To look at the gifts of the spirit. Okay. Verse 7. Oh, I suppose I can read there. Thank you. 
Verse 7. Manga Yama gives out nine. As it shall oitandai, I will ask, put up your hand, and by faith you must believe you've received it. Okay? Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. You'll find people, Isaac. You'll find people. For you, but we'll speak privately. You'll find uh, people, Mamutab, when the Holy Spirit, we're gonna read his gifts. This is demonic, it just doesn't feel right. Pushy by belly, but when I feel right, there's a demon in you that's getting irritated by the word of God. There are those people, I'm being serious. I'll get sick. Do you know deliverance? What deliverance? I used to, when I'd watch it, privately. Why must they do it in front of everyone? The Lord had to convict me. And because God is such a comedian, now I flow in deliverance. He showed me his word. It's clear. But because you've never invested your time in the word of God, you don't understand what it means. You've never, it's never been revealed. Can you flow in it, say? No, that's why I can't. Now, I'm going to eat and I'm going to flow again. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm some of them, you'll be like, what? That's in the Bible. That's a gift. It's in the Bible. Satan has short changed you. Now to each one, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. Do you see what I mean? That your ordination is for common good. It's not for you. It's about you. It's a sub July show. It's, up. it's for the common good. That's why if somebody comes in this altar and defiles it immediately, I have to tell you to stop it or you sit down. It's not about you. We didn't come here to look at you. It's for common good. We need to find Jesus. When you are here, make us for Jesus. And if no more new Jesus, when you last born in the opposite, shoot, you are not the right candidate for the job that day. It's for common good. Okay? With the first gift. Yeah, three minutes. Give me three minutes. To one that is given through the Spirit the message of wisdom. What is the message of wisdom? It is not, it goes beyond supernatural wisdom. supernatural wisdom. That's not what they are referring to here. Here it is when Unkulunkulu makes a fragment of his own mind pertaining to a situation availed to you. You know when a pharaoh had a problem, he was having those bad dreams, and uh, he was having those bad dreams, and what value There would be seven years of famine and seven years of plenty. Remember that. So, what Joseph did when he gave that strategy, let's start saving was it a third. Let's start saving a third in the seven years of plenty. That was God's mind. God took his mind and put it in a man. That's the word of wisdom. You give a word. That's not just natural wisdom. So are you wise? Oh, Pastor Isaac, you literally, how God would solve the situation. That, that method God has to solve, and you speak it forth. That's the word of wisdom. If you are interested, put up your hand. I'll pray for you. If you say, I, it's not my inheritance for now, it's okay. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you said ordination today. And you said the Spirit gives us wills. If you will, Holy Spirit, impart the word of wisdom upon these people. In the name of Jesus, receive the word of wisdom. Receive the word of wisdom. Receive the word of wisdom. By faith, by fire, receive the word of wisdom. Hallelujah. The next gift to another, the message of knowledge. Why is this in NIV? 
to another the word of knowledge through the same spirit. To another the word of knowledge. Now this isn't speaking about somebody who only general knowledge. Sweet general knowledge can boy encyclopedia. No, it's good to have when you are a child of God. You must be knowledgeable. So, amen. One day I'll tell you why these, it seemed as though these echoes don't work. Although we didn't sell them. Amen. I, I'll tell you. <clears throat> Your secret safe with me, Pastor Ntaga. <laughs> that needed natural knowledge. Don't say I don't need natural knowledge. When I'm getting knowledge from AX. Amen. There's something called the word of knowledge. What is the word of knowledge? Supernaturally knowing something you wouldn't ordinarily know of. In the past or in the present. For example, I can tell you in grade 7 you had a headache and we didn't know you could pass grade 7. That knowledge only your mom knows or maybe I know uh, when I wouldn't know. But all of a sudden by the inspiration I'm able to tell you something about your past. You see that? that that's not, we didn't organize. I didn't call her mom and her. Get to spawn and look at seeing a pandre. Get it quickly. You know, I'm telling you, promise. I didn't organize in the market. It comes. Why would God want her to know? Why would God want her to know that He knows that? So she can know God loves and cares for her. So when this headache starts again and the word of knowledge comes, what's why now? You, you've had problems with your head. There was something wrong. She can believe. Because no one knows that except a mom. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the word of knowledge. People mistaken it for prophecy. It is not prophecy. Prophecy is foretelling or forth telling. Those two dimensions both relate to future. If you are looking at past, that's not prophecy. You're not a prophet. You just have the word of knowledge. Amen. So the word of knowledge assists you. But if now you are at home, we say, you are able to say, you are to say, Jesus told me. But the same way he told me this is saying you're getting a new job, but surrender to him. I'm telling you that person will immediately surrender to Jesus. Understand? So it's a tool for evangelism. It's a tool. Uh, when I want to set order at work, I use the word of knowledge. Just so people can remember I'm not normal like that. I'm a child of God. You understand that? The word of knowledge. Past or present, you know something that you could not have known. Uh, there's a time we were praying. Is Sam here? She's not here. Uh, we're at church, and I said, I see somebody. I see a white car, and there's just a desire for a white car. And she came with a white car, and she said it was a desire. You see, that's a current state of affairs that Lord revealed to me. It's not, and when I issued, you understand that? It brings faith. And remember, faith brings forth things. Amen. I'm trying to make examples, but you understand what word of knowledge is. There's a time I remember it was you, Ma. It was you. Uh, where there was a three year old that was unwed. I said, if you have a three year old, bring her. And you brought the child. That's it. I did not know that. The Lord showed it's a word of knowledge, it's what is happening currently or in the past. And she knew God remembered her when I said that she brought the child. The child is well now. By her believing. You understand? And how was her faith generated? It was generated through uh, the word of knowledge. You understand what the word of knowledge is for? It's not so you go around walking. I'm so powerful. I know what color a brow you are wearing. That's diabolical. It's demonic. Never accept that. It's always for common good to help the next person. Not yourself. If you are interested in the word of knowledge... If you are interested in the word of knowledge, Lord, as they are interested in this gift, as he desires for the common good, in their hearts, it's common good. So, Lord, grant them the word of knowledge in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Next. This word of knowledge, we can. 
Just ask, is there anybody here, by the way, who can That's a word of knowledge. And the reason the Lord revealed that is that you know he It's called identification. It goes with the prophetic gifts where you feel and feel Another faith by the same spirit or special faith. Amen. This faith is not the faith here, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith comes by hearing. Amen. And hearing the word of God. Amen. Now faith is the substance of things, or for the evidence of things not seen. No, that is, I don't want to say normal faith. That is faith, biblical faith. Like it's special faith uh, that you would not have it ordinarily. Let me make an example. Pastor Mkiz and I, uh, I'm always talking about Richmond revivals. Amen. Uh, he pulled a stick right off a mama. Why a two galu mam? He ham bagaj. Something there was the, the gift of special faith started operating in his life. He walked up to the woman, was straight at the stick. The woman stood up straight and started running across the altar, and the hall went in a row. They all came to Jesus. You understand that? That faith ordinarily, if I'm walking in the supermarket with him, we won't say an old lady seems straight. You'd be like, oh, shame, go. But something happens where you have supernatural faith. Oh, Smith Wigglesworth, one of the great generals of faith. What he would do, but like my wheelchair. Why it's a sugum, a bang a sugum, a kitchen, man pushing a wheelchair. Some horse over a wheelchair. And the person jumps off the wheelchair and starts running. How do you see we are people? Special faith. Ordinarily, at the mall at work, you're not going to be pushing people off wheelchairs. You are scared, but no, I'm going to hit them. What am I doing? But something comes upon you, you have faith that right here, right now, this person will be well. Okay, put up your hand. It goes with the gifts of healing. Lord, may you grant the saints the gift of special faith. Let it operate in their lives, Lord. Let them use to heal nations mightily. And may you take all the glory in Jesus' name. To another, the gifts of healings by the same spirit. I've once thought on all these gifts. The gifts of healings. You will see it's not gifts of healings. It's gifts of healings because it's plural. Omoni gift of healing. Yeah, okay. July, I know. No matter what depression was here, yeah, I'll live lighter. Amen. Emotional healing. Abanya, once you speak to them, your mind bang as what sometimes you forget things. Yo, psychologically, you are both thinking. Once you speak to them, your memory is restored. Your, your mental integrity and sanctity is restored. There's also a type of healing of the mind. Then there's a healing of physical body, which is the most common. If you are interested, in the name of Jesus, Lord, the gifts of healings it comes by the Spirit of God. Moyengwele, as you will, allocated over this flock in Jesus name in Jesus name next but one and the same spirit to another the working of miracles we all know this gift amen miracles the working of the supernatural and Jesus sending water into wine was a miracle amen Jesus walking on water was a miracle Amen. Raising the dead is a miracle. It's not a type of healing. Healing works for the living. But when you're raising the dead, you're at that level, you are, you are working in miracles. Amen. To do the, Apostle Aroma says, to do the natural supernaturally and to do the supernatural effortlessly and naturally. Amen. It's a dimension of the supernatural. Deliverance is a part of a miracle. It's, 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 it's it's unnatural that I'm able to command the spirit out of you to leave. It's not natural. It's part of the gift of feelings, but it's also part of the miracles. Lord, the working of miracles, to those who desire it, to those who yearn for it, grant it to them, Lord. Let them yield mighty works for your glory. Apportion it to them now in Jesus' name. Amen. To another prophecy. Amen. Prophecy, the, the prophecy here, Kulunya, 
not the office and not even the spirit of prophecy, but Kulunya about forth telling, amen, declaring, preaching is a type of this gift because you are forth telling, you are speaking in Tengeko into existence, amen. In the name of Jesus, those whose hearts are open and are willing to use this gift for common good, for saying, dwelling in Gamalga Jesu, grant it to them now, 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 in Jesus. Descending of spirits, we're almost there. Descending of spirits, what is the descending of spirits? Uh, there are four types, and the four types of spirits that legally operate or that operate. Amen. It is the human spirit, amen, which is what I have, what you have. We are all spirits, we are made of spirits, we are spirits. The human spirit, it is what the spirit of God, Holy Spirit. In fact, there's a difference between spirit of God and Holy Spirit, but that's it discussion for another day. So it's the spirit of God. Three, it is angelic. When you descend angels, uh, they are spirits. And then there's demonic spirits. Those are the four types of spirits that operate. Understand what I'm saying? When you have the gifts of discernment, you are able to descend on four. You are able to descend the human spirit. You are able to descend I descend the angelic spirit. We are sent to this person. There's a demon in there. There's a demonic spirit. And we are sent to the by the spirit of God. We are born as you can feel that this is your flesh, but we must encourage you so you don't get sad and but if we can, that's not by the spirit of God. Understand? So that's the descending of spirits. Usually, when you can descend spirits, you are able to cast out demons. Because to cast out demons, you need discernment. You need to know this is not natural, there's a demon in here. You understand? Okay. Those Lord who are interested in descending, the gifts of descending of spirits, in the name of Jesus, grant it to them now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And different kinds of tongues. That's the eighth gift. Nine. Different kinds of tongues. The gifts of speaking in different kinds of tongues. It's not the gift of speaking in different tongues. In speaking in different kinds of tongues. Because tongues are different. There is a tongue where... I will be preaching and I start talking in tongues. That's a type of tongue. Then it's, it's a preaching, it's a word. I'm preaching. Okay? There's a different tongue. It's a different type. If you are going for warfare, you can't have limits. For example, if I'm rebuking a demon, my tongues are different than when I'm just thanking God. You understand that? If, for example, I'm preaching using tongues, it's not, it's, 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 you see there I know I'm preaching, but when I'm, I'm rebuking a demon, that's not the tongues that will come, so this is, okay, so it's different, so you may have the gifts of tongues, but you don't have the difference, the different orders, the different realms of tongues, you can put up your hands, amen, on Wednesday, some receive tongues, It's 
edifies the church. Lord, in the name of Jesus, grant your flock as you will, my God, the gifts of the interpretation of tongues. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And let every gift you have received, let it be permanent. Let it be permanent. I declare and I decree the gift you have received is permanent. Everybody pray. Rakode shele broske teli mahasaya. Ika tadi bebe saye dele bese. Rike toli bese toli yele bese. Rika ta 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 ba 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 bosa. Rike dele breke tele bosa. Rika to bese teli bradoske. Rita kama dele broske teli yaka. Raka tadi bebe bebe saya. Rike li bosse teli yeme dele bosa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Leta man de leboska talie bebesi antaliaka. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Bazalwane. Take advantage of the atmosphere in the church when we are praying. Hallelujah. Liti pai pile bashanga nyilanda onye bakulega and the Holy Spirit came. Hallelujah. You may not have the strength to pray at home, hallelujah, but when we are gathered here, amen, pray, amen. Because I can feel as I'm praying, people are not praying, hallelujah. You can't be tired of praying in a place like this. Take advantage of the anointing, the atmosphere. It will help you even at home to exercise more into prayer, hallelujah, amen. Are you there? Next time when we say pray, any other saves to attend us, pray. Because there's grace available at that moment to propel you to pray more, pray more. When you arrive at home, you take the same grace with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our Thanksgiving offering. Hallelujah. Little by pile, as they were giving, Jesus was looking at how. Amen. They were giving. Amen. Jesus was not looking at the amount. Jesus was looking at the method. Jesus was looking at the, at the pattern. Jesus was looking at the motive. Hallelujah. If I'm single, maybe a lady comes and dance in a certain way. The pattern, the method she's using to dance is telling me that the motive is for me to look at her. Hallelujah. Amen, Bazalwan. Amen. Hallelujah. As we are going to forward, come forward, we are thanksgiving offering. Know that Yeshua, Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus is looking at you. Amen. Know that God is looking at you. How are you doing it? What is the motive? What is the pattern for your giving? Hallelujah. Is this woman? Hallelujah. At that point in time, Jesus was not looking at their heart. He was looking at how they are giving. And he told him about their motives, their heart. Hallelujah. Sing a song, Hallelujah. And bring forth our thanksgiving offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Sing a song, In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Sai kade 
Right now, in the Sime song against Nyao, all of us standing. Every time the prophet or a man of God or a woman of God is a sign of honor, when he stands as a pambili, please stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Sometimes we might into the Gatiko Pagama or a woman of God or a, an elder who told us and best help as if they don't honor the person going forward. Hallelujah. The anointing you don't honor will not work for you. Hallelujah. The last song is now as you honor Pastor Mtapo coming forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's just all close our eyes. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, decree that whatever that the word of God has said this evening, this afternoon, mighty God, Heavenly Father, it is permanent in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, decree that, Heavenly Father, we have all the gifts of the Holy Spirit that you have given to us. We declare, decree that they are permanent. We declare, decree that we flow within them, mighty God. We declare, decree that, Heavenly Father, Mujimaka, all the keys that you have allowed us to have this afternoon, mighty God, we have them. All the keys, we have them. We have them. We function in the Mujimaka, Nalimata, we declare, decree, mighty God, that as this week, has started, mighty God, we will flow in accordance to your word. We declare, decree that, Heavenly Father, whatsoever that we could not do, mighty God, as we enter in this place, we are able to do it in the mighty name of Jesus. We are flowing, mighty God, Heavenly Father, in the ability of the Holy Spirit that is upon us. Heavenly Father, we declare, decree that the Holy Spirit is upon us, mighty God. God. We are able to break every chain. We are able to speak to mountains and command them to move. They will move. We have faith that moves mountain. Mighty God, we declare decree as this week Mujumaka have started. Heavenly Father, Mujumaka Nalimata the Father, all that you have ordained for us, it is ours mighty God. We are aligned to the purposes and the assignment that are assigned to our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We are blessed going in and out. We are blessed in the field, in the city, and in the land. We declare, decree that we are not the tail, but we are the head. We 
declare, decree, mighty God, we are not the followers, but we are the leaders. Mighty God, we declare, decree, as we speak, people will listen to us. Mudimaka, mighty God, whatever we say shall not fall to ground. It shall be so in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare, decree, mighty God. Heavenly Father, we are blessed. We declare, decree, that we will not have the almost have the almost be. But the Heavenly Father was so ever that Heavenly Father, it is ours, it will be so. We declare, decree that we are working in an atmosphere of blessings. Mighty God, we will dominate as this week has started. We will multiply, we will subdue in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all the weakness say amen and amen. Amen. Eh, si abonga bangele. Sela ba semi ango. Sela wuti bengen. And sela abonga si sela the teachers. Baga sange fully finger ne sezi pumi langas. But we need everyone ebe corner la and paying attention.